These olive fritters are divine. They have a wonderful crisp outside and a really gooey, cheesy inside. They put a great spin on the more traditional way of serving olives as an appetizer. We're going to sift the self-raising flour in our mixing bowl. Now we're going to add rice flour. And the reason we're adding rice flour to this dish is it helps create that lovely, crisp exterior. Going to add the cheeses. So we have grated cheddar cheese and some crumbled goat's feta. Little pinch of cayenne pepper. It's important not to add too much because it'll give it a little bit too much of a kick and take away from that amazing olive flavour. A little cracked pepper before we add our sliced Kalamata olives. In with the olives. Now I'm going to add a small amount of water. We'll start with 25 mils or about a tablespoon because we want them to be a really lovely thick consistency, almost like pancake batter if you're making really thick pancakes. So that's well combined. I'm going to add the water now. I'll start with a tablespoon, but we might need to add a little more. We're using dessert spoons here, so we'll add a couple of dessert spoons for a tablespoon. I'm definitely going to need a little more. Our olives are really well drained. So I'll place in the rest of my water. You really want to incorporate the batter quite well, but because we've got the flour in there, we don't want to overwork our batter. So just until it's nice and combined. This is the perfect consistency. So we're ready to start making our fritters and shaping them, ready to pop in the pan. My pan's on a medium heat and I'm adding about four tablespoons of olive oil to the pan, so we're shallow frying. We can see that that's nice and, and hot. The reason that we're using olive oil, even though we're frying, is that we don't have intense high heat, so we're very safe to use olive oil in this dish. Get a good spoonful of the batter. I quite like them not too large, so just about a tablespoon straight into the oil. You don't want to overcrowd your pan. These are going to spread a little bit during the cooking time, so we don't want to risk them sticking together. We want them golden before we turn them. I think some of them are already ready to turn. There's no sticking. That looks great. And just a really gentle pat down as you turn them. They smell glorious. Looking forward to trying them. These are lovely and golden. I'm just transferring them to a plate lined with paper towel just to remove any excess oil. We'll just let them rest for a minute and then we're going to serve with a beautiful, always fresh beetroot relish.